gem. There's a good chance we'll face significant power issues during and after a doomsday scenario. So having at least one container like this would be really useful. It's important to note from the get-go that the container operates most effectively when the sun is shining, meaning it might not be the ideal choice for every end of the world scenario. The simple reason for this is that the container is equipped with solar panels. Inside the container, you'll find 200 solar cells already set up and linked along with a mounting structure and an inverter. The installation process couldn't be easier. You just need to set up special rails and smoothly lay out the panels. No need for complex tools. In just 30 minutes, you'll have a functional energy source at your fingertips. A single container equipped with panels generates 74 kilowatt hours of energy. When you connect multiple sets together, you can effortlessly build a solar power plant with practically limitless capacity. Both the container and the expanded array of panels are built to withstand harsh conditions. While they may not endure severe tornadoes, or major natural disasters, they'll function smoothly in hurricane winds and temperatures ranging from minus 4 to plus 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Portable Wind Turbine Picture this. As the world comes to an end, the sun mysteriously disappears, making all those solar panels worthless. But fear not, because there's a special container holding something extraordinary that can save the day, as long as there's a bit of wind. Behind the car, there's a 20-foot container that acts as a mobile wind turbine, setting it apart from the small wind power gadgets used for camping. First of all, the Uprise Energy Turbine is notably small. Upon reaching its designated spot and unfolding, it becomes clear that this is a wind turbine that looks like the traditional stationary ones. The turbine's impressive size is a big reason why it's so effective, generating 15 kilowatts of power. It works well in low winds, making it really useful. With these capabilities, it can easily provide power for up to 15 average homes. Just picture how many low-energy shelters it could support during the apocalypse. Ultra Small Water Power Generator If you find yourself in a post-apocalyptic scenario, a handy solution for power generation might come in the form of a small device that operates with the flow of a nearby stream or river. This hydroelectric generator weighs approximately 38 pounds, measures 3 feet in length, and spans 11 inches in width. It's designed to be straightforward and user-friendly. The water power generator includes a housing, a shaft, a compact electric generator, and some additional components to facilitate the energy conversion process. Its simple design, featuring a spiral-shaped shaft, ensures protection against clogging caused by floating debris or dust. To generate electricity, you just need to put the generator in flowing water. The water's movement spins the shaft, and that rotation is turned into electrical power. With a power output of just 10 watts, this device falls short for meeting the needs of even the smallest shelter. Nevertheless, it serves as a perfect backup to juice up your gadgets during the apocalypse or its aftermath. Container Farm Imagine if the Earth's climate takes a drastic turn, making it hard to grow food the way we used to. In that tough situation, a surprisingly clever solution could be the cargo container farm. Farmbox Foods uses shipping containers to grow plants because they're easy to move, resistant to physical damage, and can keep the right conditions inside. This makes them perfect for end-of-the-world scenarios. The plants stay unaffected by what's going on outside. The conditions within containers may differ depending on the types of crops being cultivated and their unique requirements. For instance, one container can be set up for growing veggies, while another might be tailored specifically for mushrooms. Each container farm features a clever system that automatically adjusts humidity, air temperature, nutrient levels, and water pH to create the perfect environment for plants. On top of that, each container is equipped with a special watering and lighting system that imitates natural sunlight. A single container can do wonders in terms of productivity. For instance, the vertical hydroponic farm inside can yield about 348 pounds of leafy greens and culinary herbs every week. Similarly, a mushroom farm in the same space can produce around 400 pounds of either culinary or medicinal mushrooms during the same time. Pneumo 
flow frame structures. During or after the end of the world, having access to drinking water becomes vital. A simple solution is to use pneumo framed structures to collect rainwater. It's as simple as it gets. All you need is a pump to inflate the pneumo frame structure. Whether it's an automatic or manual pump doesn't really matter, although using a manual one might require a bit more effort and time. Such structures are made from durable PVC materials with reinforcement. Thanks to hot air welding, the product becomes airtight, preventing any leaks of your valuable drinking water even when the structure is under considerable pressure. Lunar the Lunark Habitat smoothly transforms from a compact, easy-to-move structure into a practical living space, much like unfolding an origami. Initially designed for the moon, it also serves as a perfect shelter for surviving an apocalypse on Earth. The logic's simple. In tough, end-of-the-world scenarios, a shelter that assembles quickly and easily is the perfect choice. In the face of a world on the brink or during space exploration, a reliable and well-insulated shelter is a must. The Lunark Shelter meets all these requirements, boasting an aluminum frame and panel securely joined with a sealed flexible seam. This setup lets it withstand high winds and endure low temperatures. Inside Lunark, the shelter's interior is designed with everything needed for a comfy space life. It includes a weather simulation using panels and speakers, an algae reactor to provide nutrients, a vertical garden for fresh plants, and a 3D printer for on-the-spot shelter fixes. Clearly, it's designed for self-sufficient survival in end-of-the-world conditions. Of course, Lunark has got energy coverage covered with solar panels, this feature is a real plus for survivalists, making this shelter the perfect choice for riding out the apocalypse. The shelter's quality is guaranteed because the developers test it themselves. A team member spent a full 48 hours underwater in another creation by Saga Space Architects, proving its reliability. HD30. If you've got $600,000, consider yourself lucky because with that kind of money, you can snag a high quality trailer that serves as an excellent survival option for the end of the world. At first glance, it's just a trailer, great for moving around and getting away from natural disasters. However, the focus here is on something else, autonomy. In the living vehicles trailer, you'll notice something special, lots of solar panels on the roof, a feature not typical in other trailers. The roof of the HD30 is basically a solar panel field and it gets more extensive as it expands. If the sun decides to play hide-and-seek during the apocalypse, the trailer's got it covered with a backup battery. And just in case, there's always propane and extra generators to keep things running. Certainly, the trailer's hefty price tag isn't just because it boasts numerous solar panels and a high-capacity battery. The interior is equipped for independent living, featuring amenities like a water supply system that pulls water from the air, beds, a workstation, various furnishings, air conditioning, a kitchen with essential appliances, a shower, and more. Foldainer this container comes with special features that make it versatile for various tasks in a doomsday scenario. The container's ability to transform quickly makes it incredibly useful and versatile in the midst of an apocalypse. When deployed, it easily expands to an area of up to 355 square feet in less than an hour. During an apocalypse, the advantages are clear. Within a short time, the space can be adapted for various needs. For instance, you can set up a makeshift hospital to help those affected by natural disasters, or you can deploy a command center for better communication and coordination of relief efforts. In a deployed state, you can use the large container space as a shelter. What sets it apart is that it's built with durable corrugated container steel instead of regular sandwich panels. This makes it tough and able to endure the unpredictable events of an apocalypse. Someone who's preparing for the end of the world should consider a container option equipped with solar panels and batteries. It boasts 12 photovoltaic cells providing enough energy for various purposes. Onika Solution Picture a world where natural disasters have wiped out Earth's rivers and lakes. Where could we find clean water to drink? 
Well, we could use this unique desalination device. The magic behind the Onika invention is simple. It floats on water and transforms salt water into fresh water. How and where does it get the energy for this? It's simple. It taps into the power of waves and the sun. The device is anchored on the seafloor in spots where the average wave height exceeds three feet. It harnesses the wave energy and then transforms it. During this process, the device draws in seawater, pushing it through a desalination system to create potable water. Additionally, the device harnesses solar energy through small solar panels for the desalination process. It's important to mention that the desalinated water can be quickly channeled into small tanks or transported through pipes to larger ones. Onika devices produce 8,000 to 13,000 gallons of drinking water daily, making it enough to provide for entire communities of 100 to 1,500 people, ensuring no one is left thirsty after a disaster. Mobile Tornado Shelters What could be better than classic shelters that protect you against tornadoes rampaging during the end of the world? mobile tornado shelters. In fact, these shelters are similar to traditional stationary ones, offering the same level of strength and stability required to withstand tornadoes with wind speeds over 200 miles per hour. They're designed to hold up against the kind of tornadoes that could potentially sweep everything away during a doomsday scenario. Moreover, mobile shelters come with all the essentials to survive the storm raging outside with comfort, air conditioning, seating, and tables. They're powered by batteries that supply energy for various purposes, naturally these shelters can also come stocked with provisions and other necessities for extended survival. The key advantage here is mobility. These shelters can be loaded onto a truck and taken anywhere. In peaceful times, it functions like a regular motorhome. But when a tornado or other natural disaster hits, it easily transforms into a shelter. There's a simpler alternative, a small stationary shelter that you can carry around with you. Yeah, it might feel a bit like you're under a pot, but the bottom line is it gets the job done, keeping you safe from a tornado. A pot-shaped shelter is pretty basic, but there's an even simpler trick that worked in movies, just like it saved Indiana Jones from a nuclear explosion. Although trying that stunt in real life is not the smartest idea. Animal. When facing the chaos of apocalyptic natural disasters, it's a smart move to stay indoors and not venture out. Instead of exposing yourself to danger, think about using a four-legged metal buddy from Antibiotics. When you send this robot on exploration missions, rest assured, it'll stay safe. It can smoothly navigate any rough ground, stay steady in bumps, and handle going up or down stairs effortlessly. When it comes to quality reconnaissance, the robot is well-equipped. Animal has a visual and thermal imaging camera, and ultrasonic microphone, a powerful LED spotlight, a LiDAR scanner, and a gas sensor. Moreover, it can be customized with additional gear depending on the mission. The robot can gather information independently or follow the user's lead. Just bear in mind, it won't keep scouting forever. It runs on a battery that lasts 90 minutes, so even during an apocalypse, you'll need to find a way to recharge it. If you're exploring tight spaces or navigating through rubble, Animal can bring along a handy sidekick, a flexible robot that can easily slip into even the smallest spaces. Tsunami Shields Tsunamis are a frightening natural event often associated with apocalyptic scenarios. Luckily, there's a solution that may not prevent the destructive waves, but can considerably lessen their impact, buying crucial time for evacuation. Japan took the lead in constructing massive walls as a solution. This was prompted by a devastating tsunami in 2011, and quick action was needed to address its aftermath. Originally, there was a wall along the northeastern coast of Japan, but when the disaster hit, it wasn't up to the challenge. It was too low for the waves, ranging from 39 to 49 feet. Certain areas remained completely exposed to the disaster. The decision was then made to build a taller and longer wall. Consequently, a barrier spanning 248 miles along the coast was constructed, reaching a height of up to 48 feet. 
Yet the walls serve as a temporary solution. To address the risks in the vulnerable coastal region, Japan has put in place public awareness programs, evacuation routes, and warning systems. These collective measures can also prove useful in dealing with the colossal tsunamis at the world's end. Consider yourself lucky if you've never come face to face with a tsunami. Here's a glimpse of what it actually looks like in real life. People build massive walls to shield themselves from this frightening force of nature for a good reason. Fire Resistant House Protecting a home from a potentially catastrophic fire during the end of the world is nearly impossible. However, there's a type of construction that can buy you some time to gather your belongings and evacuate safely. Special fireproof panels along with non-combustible cladding and fireproof metal construction make it possible for the house to withstand fire. Moreover, there are other features incorporated to enhance its resistance to fire. The window frames and the gaps between the shingles are designed to resist fire. Scientists say these are the spots where fire can sneak in and set the whole building ablaze. While Design Horizons houses might not be groundbreaking, they present a simple and efficient solution for gathering important items and evacuating during the most extreme fires. There are many different ways to protect your home temporarily from fires. Consider using special blankets designed to cover sections of your house or fire-resistant wall coverings.